How you doing guys? Shane Kinsler here, aka Project E. I just thought I'd jump on and show you a little quick tutorial of a cool Max Veloy plugin that I recently got called the Ben Soma Jog Wheel. When I sold my MIDI controller or DAW controller, I had access to a jog wheel which I found very useful when I was engineering for clients or creating my own music. You can obviously fast forward or rewind throughout a track. Um, I just found them very intuitive and very quick when I'm when I'm working on music. Unfortunately, when I sold one of my, my dark controllers, I didn't have access to one, so I needed something to fill that void, and in stepped the Ben Soma Jog Wheel. I haven't seen much about it online, so I, saw, I thought I'd do a little tutorial showcasing this cool little Max for Live plugin that you may be able to use in your production. So let's get straight into it. I'll jump in and I'll show you this cool Max for Live plugin. Inside Ableton Live now. Um, once you purchase once you purchase this product product it should show up in your max MIDI effects I'll leave a link to purchase this max for live plugin in the description down below within this video So once you click on this here, you should see the plugin here Ben Soma jog wheel and if I click that there It should show up as an insert on the MIDI here. So this is exactly what the plugin does Obviously skips through the track uh, fairly quickly and then obviously you can use a jog wheel so it's, it's handy there but obviously you'd only be using your mouse um, and you can pop it out of the window as well so you can have it throughout the track but again you don't want to be using your mouse for this you want to obviously map this to one of your controllers or if you don't have a MIDI controller the most uh, useful one is your keyboard so if I click on the section here the mapping section there's a little handy um, it is a bit of text there obviously uh, explaining what you need to do but if you have a if you do have the the Ableton push 2 you can use the pitch band so if I play here and I click on the pitch band on the push 2 and literally, and literally just press up and down it will obviously fast forward and rewind and you can use in the push user mode or if you really want to get um del uh, dive into a deep you can use the push hacker too and um, which i've used before to you can map it to certain knobs within that so the easiest one then again sorry would be to map it to your keys so if i click on the the key section here and i'm going to click on fast forward and f and i'm going to map that to the number six and then rewind I'm gonna and I click on the rewind there. I'm gonna map that to the number five. So now, if I come out of the key section and I play this, it does that there for me. Now I had to stick on the endless function, so just mess around with the standard the endless function, depending on what uh, pr uh, preset that you want. Whenever you map it to the key. It's a very handy um, little tool that you can use within your productions. So I hope you did find that handy. Uh, just make sure to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you again soon.